You may have seen someone talk about Siri's command when they're getting pulled over. There's a command where you say, I'm getting pulled over, and Siri does a bunch of stuff for you. Now this isn't made by default for Apple, it's something you have to set up. So today we're going to go ahead and show you how to set it up. Now there's two ways to set it up, there's the easy way, and there's the hard way. I've thought about this for a while, and I've decided to go with the easier way. I just feel like going through the harder way, it's just, I don't think people will enjoy it that much. So we're going to go through the easy way of setting this up and show you exactly how to get it working. What it's going to do is you're going to say that phrase, I'm getting pulled over, and the phone will set the brightness to zero, the volume to zero. It will start recording a video and record everything that's happening. It'll get your location. It'll send a message to your emergency contact, letting them know you're getting pulled over and your current location. And it's going to continue to record that video. When you're done, you stop recording it and it sends that video directly to your contact. That way they have it. And it also gives you the option to upload it right away so it can't get deleted to iCloud or Dropbox. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and just off the wall videos I think of, make sure you go ahead and smack that subscribe button. We would love to have you join. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and give you some more information on this. Now this is designed to go through and send to the police, but it doesn't mean you have to use it for that. It could be used for a lot of things. You could be worried that you have a stalker and you want to be secure that's something that would be very big for this app if you're going to be walking at night a lot and you're worried about the streets you could do this as well there's a lot of different reasons but it's better to have this than not have this so i would recommend setting this up in case you ever find yourself in this situation it is a lot harder to do all this stuff manually than just saying a quick phrase with that said, you do have to say the phrase, but also you do have to have your phone unlocked. So you can't be on the lock screen or it won't work. This works really well if you have your phone connected to the dash because it's going to use your front facing camera. So it's going to automatically be recording everything in your perspective and it just works so much better that way. So keep that in mind. With that said, let's go ahead and show you how it works. First thing we need to do is go into shortcuts. We have to run a shortcut for the first time to get the options that we need. So I deleted all mine. So I'm just going to click on gallery and I'm just going to find one here. Learn how to wash your hands. Add shortcut. Now that's added, we'll go back to my shortcuts and I'll tap on it and run it. Now it took me to a YouTube video, but we don't need to go through all that. So now that we have that set up, we need to go into our settings. So we're going to go out of here in the settings. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to find shortcuts towards the bottom. And there's going to be something there that says allow untrusted shortcuts. We're going to want to turn this on to be able to download this. Once we do this, it's going to say Apple does not review shortcuts outside of the gallery. Running shortcuts from untrusted sources can put your personal data at risk. I'm going to choose allow because this is a very popular one and it's been around for about a year and it's even won a contest. So I'm pretty sure this one's going to be as legit as it comes. When it says untrusted, it basically means people didn't pay Apple or Microsoft to review their shortcut <laughs> or they didn't randomly select it. So with that said, let's go and go out of here. We're going to look at the link down below. You're going to want to copy the link and we're going to paste it into Safari. I'm going to open up Safari here and you want to paste the link up top. The first time you put it, it may say, you know, this page looks better in the app or it might say, do you want to use it in Safari or in Reddit? We need to do it in Safari, not the app. If it doesn't set up in Safari, it's not going to set up at all. So next we're going to go ahead and choose the iCloud link and tap that. It's going to import it in. It's going to tell you what it's going to do. When running, I'm getting pulled over and get the how much the volume's at, how much the brightness is at. It's going to turn do not disturb on. It's going to set volume to zero. It's going to set 
brightness to zero. It's going to get your location. It's going to get your current location from maps to URL. And it's going to message the person that you specify. I'm getting pulled over. Here's my location on Apple Maps. And then it's going to be your link. It's going to take the front camera and take a video of it. It's going to set your brightness and volume both to zero. That way they can't tell the phone is on. It's going to save your video in recent. It's going to, after you stop the video, it's going to send the message instantly to the recipient that you have set up. It's going to turn do not disturb off. It's going to get the shared media, AKA the video, and it's going to say, choose where you want to upload it. You could upload it to iCloud or Dropbox, or you could choose do not upload if you don't want to upload it. This is just another way to have the video later, but if you're sending it to someone, they have it at least. And then if you go down here, it tells you there's this, just a comment. So this is just a person that created it saying, if you want to send them donations, you can. So then you just choose add untrusted shortcut. It's going to ask for its recipient or the location. I'm going to go ahead and type this in. It's going to then ask who to send the video to. I'm going to also send this to myself and it's added. Now we're in my shortcut. I'm going to actually get rid of the other one because I don't want it in there. I know how to wash my hands. <laughs> All right, there we go. So the first time you run it, you're going to be asked a lot of things. So you want to run it before this actually happens. So you can kind of see how it works and also make sure the phone allows everything. So tap on it and you're going to see it's going to go dim right away. And I'm going to try my best to get as much of this recorded as I can because I know it will move around a bit on me. <laughs> So here I'm getting pulled over. Would you like to access your location? Okay. It may say, would you always like to do it? Make sure you say always. Gonna send it, say okay there. Would like to use your camera. This is probably where things are gonna get crazy. I choose okay. And I also got a message saying that. So now I'm just gonna stop the recording. I'm going to use video and you just want to say okay on this. I'm going to message it. I'm going to say, do we want to upload it? We're going to say, do not upload, but you could if you want. And check mark. Now all the actions are set up. So in the future, all you would do is say, hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. And there we go, that's how quick it is. We're just gonna stop it. Use video, send that. And then here we go, do you wanna upload? Do not upload. Boom, that's how quick it is. Well, after you do it the first time. So that's how you have to do it. And there's my, uh, my video. That's how you have to set everything up. And it took me a minute to get everything right, but as long as you run a shortcut first, change that setting in the settings, then you can download it no problem and then just go through the prompts the first time and allow everything and then it'll work. If you ever change your mind and you don't want this later, just choose edit here and then click the circle and then hit the trash can and it'll delete it. I however, I'm going to keep it on here because I kind of like this one and in case of an emergency, I think that's going to be something that's good to have. It does not necessarily need to be getting pulled over, but in case of any event where I really need something maybe this will help. So I hope this video helped. Siri is very, very popular. She's got so many things going on. If you ever use her and she's pronouncing things wrong, or if you just want to know how to set up your name with Siri, I have a video on that. I'll put it over here and I hope to see you over there. Thank you so much for the view.